We all know the feeling when a product promises to be holy grail but ends up being a massive disappointment. You invest time, money and hope into those little jars and bottles expecting miracles only to find your skin not so happy. That's why we're diving deep into a popular Korean brand, Anua Skincare. This Korean brand took the internet by storm. Everyone seemed to love everything from Anua. But I didn't and you may not either and I'm here to spill the tea on some of their worst products that just didn't make the cut so that you don't waste your money by blindly making a purchase decision. Ready to uncover the not so great side of Anua? Let's get started. Before I start the review, here's an important disclaimer. Just because this product didn't work for me or didn't live up to the hype doesn't mean they're bad products or not worth of a try. Skincare is highly personal. What doesn't work for one person might end up being a holy grail for someone else. So my experience is based on my skin type and concerns and I'm sharing this list to help those who may have similar issues. And also because, in my opinion, there are better alternatives out there. That being said, the first and more product that I found to be overhyped and won't purchase again is the Anua Heartleaf 77% Soothing Toner. Now, don't get me wrong, this toner has its fans, but for many people like us, it falls flat. Really flat. In the words of Anua itself, this is a soothing toner formulated with heart leaf extract designed to calm irritated and moisturize the skin. It contains 77% Hotunia cordata extract, which is a Korean traditional medicine ingredient. Hotunia cordata or heart leaf is the star ingredient of Anua skincare and well known for its soothing effects and anti inflammatory properties. And that's where the name of this toner comes from. And this is probably also why a lot of people saw soothing benefits, great soothing benefits from this toner. It also contains Centella Asiatic Extract, one of my favorite ingredients for calming down irritation and redness. But for a lot of people with sensitive and acne prone skin, this product, this formulation actually didn't work. Many people have reported skin irritation and dryness, which to be fair can happen with any product because no product will suit everyone. But my personal beef with this product is it just isn't hydrating and moisturizing enough for my dry skin. Even though it provides great soothing benefits for dry skin people like me, absence of hydration can cause further irritation. I hope I'm making sense. I mean, that's what I experienced. I know previously I mentioned that this is a very good basic hydrating toner. My guess is that when I started using this toner, the big one, uh, my skin was in a good condition. So it felt enough hydrating at first. But over time, because of my health issues, when my skin was getting dehydrated, I didn't notice any glow or any less visibleness of pores. So skin soothing? Of course. Hydrating or moisturizing? Not so much. Now, what if you want both? Then you should try one of these options. Cosrx Nail 92 Essence, Hatha Labo Gokujin Premium Lotion, The Ordinary Soothing and Barrier Support Serum. Anua Toner is a great choice for oily skin people though. This one is just fine, really. It's just that when you have tried so many products like I have, just fine isn't just enough sometimes anymore. So if you've been left disappointed by this one, just want to let you know, you are not alone. Next on my list is Anua Heart Leaf LHA Moisture Peeling Gel. This is meant to be a super gentle peeling product that exfoliates the dead skin cells, smooths out the texture, and brings out fresh glow. It contains caprolyl salicylic acid, aka lipohydroxy acid, aka LHA, which is a derivative of salicylic acid and developed by L'Oreal. It supposedly has a bigger molecule, works slowly, and is less irritating. The way you should use it is to thoroughly cleanse the face. Apply an adequate amount of peeling gel to wet hands and gently massage on face for less than one minute and then rinse off with water. By doing so, it should lightly peel off the dead skin cells from the top layer of your skin and give you a radiant complexion. Which all sounds good in theory, but in reality, it didn't work for me. Actually, peeling gel has never really worked for me. It's too gentle and I could never really notice any change or improvement after using a peeling gel. Same happened with this one. You might wonder why purchase it then? <laughs> I didn't. Anua sent it as a PR. Well, and while I do believe that some people, people who have sensitive skin or who are new to skincare, might benefit from gentle peeling gels like this one, for my mature skin, it doesn't work. But if you're like me and you want something more effective, 
yet gentle than my Pixa, the ordinary lactic acid 5% plus HA, Cosrex BHA Blackhead Power Liquid, some by me AHA BHA BHA Miracle Toner. Next product that didn't work for me is Anwang Green Lemon Vita C Blemish Serum. This product contains 20% ascorbic acid, aka pure vitamin C, and 56% green lemon extracts. I had high hopes for this one, I really did. But unfortunately, it didn't work for me. First of all, the scent. That's the first thing I noticed after opening this product. I know many people enjoy fresh, citrusy scent. I enjoy it too, but when it's not too strong. But this one was just... <laughs> Too overpowering for my liking. Every time I used it, I was feeling like putting on perfume rather than using a skincare, which again, not necessarily a bad thing for everyone, but just didn't work for me. I just couldn't stand it. It also contains too many essential oils, which I believe might be responsible for the tingling sensation I felt after applying it every time. It would be okay if it didn't get any worse, but it did. My skin started getting irritated within a week. This nose area and the area above my lips started burning after applying something, even my moisturizer. This was a warning sign for me and I immediately stopped using it. This serum claims to target blemishes and brighten the skin with vitamin C, but the irritation I experienced made it hard to stick with. Instead of clearer, brighter skin, I ended up with more redness and sensitivity. For those with sensitive skin, the combination of serum Strong fragrance, essential oils, plant extracts, and vitamin C could be a recipe for disaster. There are definitely gentler and more effective options of vitamin C out there. For example, Dear Claire's Freshly Juiced Vitamin Drop, CeraVe Vitamin C Serum, Melano CC Intensive anti spot Essence, Beauty of Josan Centella Plus Light Vita C Serum. The last product I'm going to show you today is actually one that I liked and would definitely recommend for other people. Just not for myself. And that is Anua Heartleaf Quercentennial Pore Deep Cleansing Foam. It contains heart leaf extract, of course it does, and salicylic acid. It promises to deliver deep cleansing, pore care, and power of quercentennial to refresh the skin. Salicylic acid, a great ingredient, can be beneficial for clearing out pores and managing breakouts. However, salicylic acid is also a strong exfoliant, and using it every day can be very harsh for many skin types especially mine. That's why I prefer using salicylic acid as a separate product like a toner or serum for two to three times a week at most. I can definitely see this product working well for people with oily or acne prone skin who needs a strong deep clean to manage excess oil and breakouts. In fact, I've already recommended it to my oily skin friends. But if you have dry skin like me, the Anua Heartleaf Core Sentinel Pore Deep Cleansing Foam might be too much for daily use. There are definitely gentle cleansers out there that can cleanse effectively without making your skin feeling tight or stripped like Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel Cleanser, Ironic Centella Bubble Cleansing Foam, CeraVe Essa Renewing Cleanser, Beauty of Josan Green Palm Refreshing Cleanser. There you have it. These are the annual products that just didn't work for me. My experience is based on my skin type and concern and while these products didn't deliver the result I was hoping for, it doesn't mean they won't work for you you. It's all about finding the right products for your skin's unique needs. If this review was helpful, give it a like, share it with your friends, and consider subscribing for more in-depth skincare reviews. I'll see you next time, but until then, keep taking great care of your skin. And remember, every small step you take leads to beautiful results. This is Sarah Diba signing out today from Diba's Quest. Don't forget to love the skin you're in.